This week, we have a special guest, Perk Sr. We're going to listen as he talks about the disciplinary role of a single father. Take it away, Perk Sr. All right, thank you for that introduction. I'm Perk Sr., and today I will be talking about the things that I've done or whatever with my kids that uh, I think is actually good parenting skills. So, um, um, when my kids were young or whatever, I always wanted to make sure that they would have the most lucrative life and be the best version of themselves they could be. And I've always tried to live, learn, and choose not to repeat. So it's like I've seen parenting styles and I've learned from them or whatever. And uh, I must say I am a thief or whatever. I am a thief because most of my parenting style is not my own. It's other people's all rolled up into what I consider to be good parenting. Some, think, some people say I'm kind of crazy with my, my ways, but a lot of people always use my kids as an example of like stellar kids that do what they're supposed to do when they're supposed to do it. So uh, to start or whatever, I have the one finger rule. It's like at the age of one or whatever, it's like kids need to learn early what discipline is. So it's like age of one, I give them one finger or whatever, one quick pop or whatever, let them know that, hey, that's not what you should be doing. Don't go in the cookie jar without asking me first. So you Google daddy and all the other stuff, pop, no, that's wrong. So at age two, same thing, two fingers. Age three, three fingers, four, four fingers. And this is where time gets tricky. At the age of five or whatever, kids start to have an understanding, a basis of what's right and wrong. So it's like, instead of like trying to always use the physical aspect of it, you need to encourage them to do better things and know, uh, try to teach them like um, better ways to handle situations. Uh, case in point, it was a time or whatever when my son, uh, I think he was in first grade, and for some reason or whatever or another, he was sleeping in class um, come the start of the weekend. And I have always strict guidelines or whatever, hey, we come home, we eat, or whatever, I help you with your homework, I do my daddy duties, and after 9 o'clock, I am not your father. I don't know you, you know what you're supposed to do, it's time to go to sleep. So in the bed by 9, 9.30, a TV must be off, otherwise those privileges are gone for the rest of that week, and I don't care if it's Monday. So... Uh, the teacher said that, hey, your son's been sleeping or whatever, and I talked to him. I asked him, has he been eating at home? And most kids will do the, would do the first thing or whatever, which is to cop out. No, I have, haven't. So I'm just thinking to myself, uh, I cook three days out of the week, and if I don't cook, we order out. So there's Jack in the Box, Wendy's, whatever, you know, to make sure they get a home-cooked meal or whatever. And we always, always, always sit at the table and, and eat together because that's what we do most of our talking so I can ask them how, to, how was their day if they had any issues or whatever and do I need to be involved in somewhere I don't need to make my kid act like a grown up and put them in a grown up situation and I can do my job as their father so he said he didn't eat so I was just like oh okay so most parents would have been like okay I'm going to beat the crap on my son or whatever because I know for a fact he does this 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 and that at home and I cook and I do this. So I made one better. I'm like, okay, why would you say that? Well, I was just a little tired. I'm like, well, is it true? Do you eat? Do you not get enough food? Uh, I, I do. I'm like, so what's the issue? I was just really tired at school. I'm like, well, okay, we're just going to change your bedtime because obviously 9 o'clock is not good enough for you. We're going to push it to 8. We're going to move it to 8. I'm like, but uh, let me pack y'all a lunch because I got some special plan. So I packed them a lunch little ham and cheese sandwich, some little plain chips, a bottle of water, and like a fruit. I think it was grapes that time. And um, so my son, he's in first grade, he's seven. And then my other son, he's in kindergarten, he's uh, he's five at the, at the time. So I took him to Chuck E. Cheese. And it's like, this is the point where I said, you don't always have to physically abuse a child or whatever. You can mentally stimulate their mind to be able to understand that, hey, I, I shouldn't do that. Maybe I need to think about, like, things or whatever that I can do better or whatever so I don't put myself in this issue. So I ordered a pizza, uh, got my little tokens or whatever, 
and uh, they brung in the lunch that they were supposed to eat. So the ham and cheese sandwich, chips, fruit, and water. And I ate all the pizza. And I played all the game. And I let them watch watch me. And it's like, I, it's like most people are like, you're doing that out of spite, and that's fine. Or whatever, your parenting style is yours and mine is mine. But it's like most people are visual learners. So I want you to visually see what happens when you don't do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it. So I play all the games, won a lot of tickets or whatever, kind of threw my shoulder out playing basketball, but that was okay. I was fine with it. So now it's like I have a swollen shoulder, a swollen shoulder, and um, and I'm out about thirty dollars or whatever at Chuck E. Cheese. So all the funds, all the tokens is gone, all the pizza is gone or whatever. My kids got to play, got to play no games. They just watch me have fun, and they're just thinking to themselves like, "Oh, that could have been us." Or whatever. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna be a complete mean person. I'm gonna at least let them pick out the prizes. So I, they pick out all these prizes or whatever, because I have over a thousand tickets. How did I get a thousand tickets? Because I'm that good in basketball. So um, I see this little girl behind us. It's her birthday, and and obviously her father is not as good as me in basketball. They have probably about 100 tickets. I'm like, oh, my God, it's your birthday. How old did you turn? Seven. Well, my boys were nice enough to, to pick you off some prizes for your birthday or whatever. Hey, boys, give her the prizes. So I gave them, I gave, the kids gave her the prizes and they're pounding and stuff like that. So it's like after we got done, we drive back home or whatever. And I talked to them. And my thing was like, hey. You know me or whatever, I am a very fun parent and I like to do sporadic things or whatever to ensure that we have fun and spend quality time together, but you need to do what you need to do when you're supposed to do it. It's like I didn't raise you to cop out or I didn't raise you to be the type of person that sleeps in class or whatever. You need to get the job done uh, when the job test is there. So with that said or whatever, it's like just like life or whatever, there's repercussions for your actions. It's like I wanted you guys to have fun with me or whatever, but I couldn't. And the reason being or whatever is because you didn't do what you were supposed to do. And since you didn't do what you were supposed to do, this is the outcome. You miss out on things. And in life, you'll miss out on a lot of things if you don't do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it. Needless to say or whatever, I never had an issue with my kids or whatever sleeping in class again. 